、えー、っとどういうご感想をお持ちになったか、えー、お聞きしてみ、えー、たい、えー、と思うんですが、まあ、非常に、えーまあ、迫力のあるですね故障、えー、環境問題があったということと、えー、なかなかですね、あのーえー、技術、えーだけでとかあるいはあ、まあ、あの ODA だけで、ね、解決できない、えー、問題がたくさんあ,あるあの問題、えー、を流域のステークホルダーの中でどう共有していくかということとやっぱりそれがなければその解決もなかなかおぼつかないということだと思いますそれ私ですねちょっと5分程度ですね、えー時間いただいて、その IBM プラットフォームプロセスというものが、まあ、大体どういうものなのかということをご紹介しようと思います。で、あのこれがですね、世界の、えー、故障河川、それから、まあ、湿地、えー、等を、まあ、扱って、グローバルデイクサルウェットランデータベースというものの中にある GI 値の。かとなんですけども、まあ、ここですね、アフリカ、国際河川、それから非常に数多くのですね、えー、故障だけでなくて、ウェットランドがあ,あります。で、えー、常にまあ放送地の通りですね、まああのえー、世界の水の漂流水、淡水漂流水の 90% は、こういうそのたまり水系なんですね。ですから、流水っていうのは 10% で、かつ流水を利用するためには必ずたまり水系に変えなければ使えないということですから、我々はその故障と言いつつもですね、故障、えー、湖を好きな人が集まって、なんか湖の話しているということじゃなくて、水問題の最も本質的なところを話しているとメインストリームをしていくということが非常に重要だということが、ここでまあ分かっています。で先ほどのこのアフリカなんですけども、まあ、国これ、まあ、国際河川とですね、故障を、えー、この国の協会をまたいで、えー、流れている非常によくわかる、えー、状況ですから、まあ、アフリカの,あの国、国々がですね、協力しなければ解決できないと。ですから、あのー、そういうことに、えー我々国なりですね、国際機関がどう貢献していくかという大きな問題であるということなんですね。これがまあ先ほど出たあのリフトワレで、特にですね、この、えー、第一交代地域における故障問題というのは大きいんですけども、その他にですね、えー、この西アフリカ、それからこのチャド湖ですね、それから南部のチチベロックだとかカリバブだとかもかつですね、先ほどちょっとあのありましたように。えー、住民、地域の住民の方々っていうのは、こあの降雨時に、まあ、できたたまり水をどういうふうに生活に使うかというようなレベルのこう問題、たくさん抱えてるわけですから、えー、非常に、えーまあ、小さなですね、えー、テンポラリー、えー、プールといいますか、かそういう、えー、たまり水も含めたです、ね、水の。あり方とそれをどういうふうにさせるのに、えー、蔓延していくかという問題が大きくあるということでございます。で、これ、世界のですね、えー、故障環境問題を、これ、世界の故障なんですけど、代表的な故障と、えー、そういう抱えてる問題を表して、まあ、皆さんにですね、どういう状況なのかと聞いた、えー、結果なんですけども、湖の中、周辺、それから流域、それから地球環境問題も含めてどうなんだということで、これがですね、まあ、答えなんですね、えー、赤で下向きの矢印というのが、まあ、悪くなっていると、ですから世界の故障環境というのは一様に地球規模で悪化すると、これをかどういうふうにです、ね、改善の方に持っていくかということをやるには、やはりですね、IBM のような非常に大きなそのガバナンス問題として、えー、考えなきゃいけないし、基本的にそのどういうふうに我々の今まで、えーあのまあ、培ってきたです、ね、仕組みをこういう問題に、えーえー、資するような形で,です、ね、変えていかないといけないと、どうするのかということになると思います。でも、まあ、IBM というのはそういう意味で,です、ね、非常に
、まあ、あの大きな枠組みで、柱六本柱なんですけども、えーでまあ、レッドグリーフというものを、その六本柱について、いろいろ分析していく、まあ、ガイドラインというものを作っています。でこれはまあこれまでのですね、IF の,経験,あの経験ですね、まあ、二十数年の経験を集約した形で、知識ベースを作り、データベースを作り、ですね、トレーニングプログラムを作って、えーまあ、こういうものに解消できるようにするということで、えーでままああのえー、どこの流域でもですね、まあ、この六本柱はですね、えー、きっちりとうまくいくようにということを、まあまあ、願うわけですけども、まあ、現実の問題はこういう状況。あるいはこういう状況にあるわけですね。で、こういうことを、まあ、少しでもですね、えーまああのえー、徐々に改善し,たし,していくための方法論を、えーまあ、レグリーフを作り、それからプラットフォームプロセスです、ねえー、を作り上げていくと。で、まあ、あの徐々にですからサイクリックにですね、長期にわたって、えー、取り組んでいく。こういうことを支援していくような取り組みをしなければ、これはなかなか難しいと。ですから、まあ、要するに計画を立てて実施する、えー、あるいはプロジェクトを,を,を,を,を実施するということだけじゃなくてです、ね、ガバナンスというものをです、ね、非常に、まああのまあ、両輪のようにといいますか、その噛み合った形で動かなければ、なかなかうまくいかない。で、えー、そのための,、まあ、あのアプローチを。まあ、バイバインで示しているわけですけども、まあ、あの単純に言いますと、まあえー、現状を把握して、まあ、先ほど言ったように、まあ、どういう問題でどういうガバナンスチャレンジがあってでそれを少しでもですね、えー、ある期間内に解決するためにはどういうその協力をしていかなきゃいけないということを、まあ、繰り返しつつですね、まあ、そこにまあいろんな情報をですね生み出していったり協力をすることが必要なんですけどもそれを、えー進捗をこう測りながら進めていくで、まあ、日本の故障水素保全計画というのがあるんですけどもその進捗の測り方は水質を測るわけですけどもアフリカの故障のようにですねあの水質だけじゃなくてさまざまな利用の形態があるときに、えー、あるいはさまざまな問題を抱えるときに、えー、できる限り、えー、ストレスを削減していくというような取り組みをしていく、えーまあ、そういうプロセスをです、ねまあ、作り上げていく。いうことで,で、えー、まああのー、先ほどからあお話ししていただいたわけですけども、まあ、一部の故障特に今なくるこの場合にはこれが、まあす,ねまあ、すでに軌道に乗りつつあるとそれからあニャンザワンベクトリーカのニャンザワンはほぼですね、まあ、こういう形ができつつあってですね、えー、動きかけているそれからあ先ほどのチベロコですね。チベロコはこれを作り上げている上でもですね、前段階のさまざまな共通認識のところまでは出来上がってきた。これからやはりですね、まあ、10年、15年、20年、徐々に改善していくと、細く長くですね、広く薄く支援していくという枠組みが国際的にできなければ難しいんだろうということでございます。で、まあ、そのためにですね、ハイエフではそういう。リソースマテリアルですかガイドラインだとか、まあ、いろんなです、ねえー、情報を集約して、えーまあ、これ知識ベースシステムっていうものなんですけども、まあ、ラーニングアクセレレーションノーランジーマンスメントシステムっていう、まあ、知識ベースシステムを活用しつつですねいろんなあ冊子をです、ねまあ、作り上げていますそれからデータベースも、まあ、あのだいぶ古いんですけどもこの更新だとかそれからこれ JICA と協力してですね、まあ、トレーニングプログラムで今まではまあ国内でトレーニングをする色を来ていただいてすることが多かったんですけどもアフリカの場合にですね、まあ、我々の方が、えー、国際的に協力しながら例えばインドの方だとかですねフィリピンの方だとかいろんなあ南南協力をしなしつつですね現地で、えー、トレーニングオブトレーナーですね対応していかないと。で今、そういうことで,です、ね、動いているプロジェクトは、まあ、これ、2010年でちょっと古いんですけども、えー、約まあ30か3十ぐらいです、ね、動いておりまして、アフリカが先ほどの3か所なんですけども、これからです、ね、やっぱりこれがこの3つのケースを確認してです、ね、増えていかないといけないということになるわけです
でまあ、あのこれが2060年のウォーターストレスのシミュレーションの状況なんですが、このピンクのところが非常に真っ白高い、ただ、あのこの辺もですね、先ほどの故障があるところも、すでにあのお示ししましたけど、ウォーターストレスという飲み水だけじゃなくて、先ほどの問題に生活、えー、生存の問題は、まあ、非常に多く関わりますから、そういうことも含めて、単に、えー、水源問題という言い方だけはなくですね、えー、持続可能なエコシステムサービスというものをどういうふうに、えー、実現していくかということになると思います。で、えー、先ほど申し上げましたように、えー、チュレロがまあ大体この辺、それからニャンザガルフっていうのは今、ベースプロセスの値でまあ1、2年で来てるんですけども、でナクルーコの方は少しですね、早めにスタートしたということ。してサイクルプロセスの方法が少しですね、してやはりこの辺りですね、日本の経験だとか、あまあ、あの含めてですね、このサイクルプロセスに、えーまあ、展開する必要があるんじゃないかなということでございます。まあ、以上で、えー、その話は終わるんですが、ここから先はですね、えー、ちょっと、えー、まずはあの3人のスピーカーの方に、えーと、ILBM を、えー、今後、まあ、推進していく、あるいは促進していくために、えー、ぜひこういう、えー、ことが、まあ、望まれるんじゃないか、まあ、すでにです、ね、何点か、えー、ご示しいただいたんですけども、少しです、ね、この際に具体的にご提案いただければ、場合によってはですね、えー、あ,れあるいは、日本のイニシアティブ、あるいは、今日はあのあのユネットの方もおられてますね、国際協力の中で、これをどういうふうに取り上げていくかということが、少し展望が開けるかなというふうに思いますので、まず、本丸先生から、えー、先ほどのお話に加えて、えー、助言なり、提案なりありましたら、よろしくお願いします。If you could、uh, speak in English, that translator need to get it, give it precisely. Okay. What I think we should do is to follow up、uh, with your presentation and perhaps、uh, have some suggested follow up possible、uh, development of the Cyber Platform process. Uh, perhaps uh, uh, regional or continental collaborative framework that、uh, you might be able to suggest to us. Thank you.、Uh, our ILBM pro program、uh, has taken off、uh, with a meeting which、uh, we conducted in Kisumu.、Uh, and、uh, now we have formed a team. Uh, with the government and、uh, institutions, <coughs> Masele University, Bando University, these are local universities within the, the basin. And then the municipalities of Kisumu. Kisumu is the largest city,、uh, almost the largest in the Victoria Basin. Of,、uh, uh, Kampala City is the biggest, then Kisumu comes in. And other small、uh, cities. So, in Kenya, it's the, the third largest city. And、uh, we have, have the Department of Water coming in, the Department of Sewerage has come in. Then, Lake Victoria Management Program is、uh, a GF, GF、uh, supported program for the whole of Lake Victoria Initiative. And、uh, it is,、uh, I mean, it's a、uh, Under the Lake Victoria Commission. So, we have also brought these people in so that we work together. As、uh, Professor Nakamura has said,、uh, we need to bring more people, especially the government, the institutions, the NGO, and、uh, the institutions for research. 
uh, knowledge base is very important uh, so that the institutions work. I'm happy the Nagasaki University uh, professors are here. Some of them are in the Kisumu. We will invite them to participate with us. And with the technical uh, backing from INEC, it is possible that we could uh, work out a program that can uh, assist us in the Victoria region. Thank you. Yes, please. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, I think as I mentioned earlier, uh, is that we have taken, we have actually moved from the leg piece to the site of process of the LBM in Akuru. Uh, one of the most recent developments in Kenya is that we did our elections in April, uh, in March this year. So we have involved the uh, uh, kind of uh, government and therefore uh, as a follow up we want to uh, now engage because initially we were dealing with the municipal council of Nakuru, uh, but now we engage with the county government of uh, Nakuru, because we have a government both at the national level and at the county level. So we need uh, some dialogue uh, meetings with the county government, and maybe consider including the Kinevasha, because uh, the Kinevasha was also one of the lakes that committed uh, the lake briefs under the case studies of the indeed lakes around the world. Uh, the Kinevasha is also in Akuru County, so that we can start focusing or uh, having a uh, platform process both at Lake Nakuru and uh, Lake Kinevasha, which are the two big, big, biggest lakes within the county. Um, as a uh, cyclic process, we have uh, now secured various commitments from various institutions to say exactly what are issues they want to, to, uh, to undertake in terms of strengthening each of the six pillars of uh, uh, Lake Basin Governance. So we are going to have to follow up on their commitments and then uh, uh, we agreed fundamentally that we are going to meet after every six months to review progress. Uh, we identified and set, set various indicators. So we are going to have to follow up and see what kind of uh, uh, progress each of the six institutions will have made after six months. So we basically uh, will also uh, request to get some support from, I don't know, which quarters to finance the review workshops. Uh, I think uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Stade mentioned about the uh, possibility of twinning the links uh, uh, that have similar experiences and I think they're probably the same. Uh, based uh, same uh, ecological zones or uh, have similar characteristics. I think we need to explore those kind of possibilities between maybe the lakes in Asia, the lakes in Africa that can be between so that we have uh, uh, more, uh, modes of sharing and, and trainings. Uh, for the Kanpuru and indeed for the Kanaibasha, I think a uh, unit can easily can, uh, can, can go further and support uh, the LBM platform process, particularly the conservation of the forests. We lost three, almost 200 square kilometers of forests in the span of 10 years. That's massive and uh, we require a big uh, support from organizations, uh, from the institution, the UN agencies. The UNED headquarters is a sedentary house in Kenya and uh, they have been doing some good uh, work at the policy level in Kenya, uh, the conservation of the Mao. But we want to move from, uh, from policy also to funds uh, on, uh, on the ground uh, kind of work. From JICA, uh, I mentioned about the general breakdown of the infrastructure that was constructed through the, the end loan. There are two sewage treatment plants. One handles uh, industrial waste, it's about, uh, about uh, 9,600 cubic meters per day, uh, industrial waste. And all that volume of waste is actually of uh, sewage disappears 100%. And Nakuru, we consume 80% uh, of the Nakuru's water supply is from boreholes. And we are worried that uh, this sewage that disappears will actually be contaminated groundwater we can consume. Uh, uh, from the evidence, scientific evidence, is that uh, the sewage ponds were actually located on a fault line, and that's why it disappears. So we need uh, some urgent measures to address uh, the issue of the leaking ponds and also the issue of the reticulation system. 
uh, and uh, for the town sewage treatment plant, which is also uh, about uh, 9,000 uh, cubic meters, the stormwater drain was constructed within the sewage treatment plant. The challenge we have uh, is that uh, the water service provider, who is called Namasco, Nakuru Water Supply and Sanitation Company, uh, only handles the water aspect, the sewage aspect. There is no mandate to manage the storm water. So the storm water, as for the last close to 15 years since the project was commissioned, the storm water drain has been neglected completely. It has, the municipal council is not touching it because it felt like it's within the, the premises of the water company and therefore uh, does not have any budget for maintaining the storm water drain. So the storm water drain, storm water pollution is the main source of pollution in Kakuru and that uh, needs to be addressed either uh, by JICA, because uh, actually the project was financed by JICA to the end loan and I think they can put up in the loans or any other major agency could ask uh, to come in and also assist in addressing the storm water issue because it was separate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, uh, before going to uh, Porsche, uh, I think what the, the, the indication seems to me that, for example, these uh, ODA initiatives uh, or technical collaborations uh, uh, initiatives and so on probably should be aware of the need for IBM platform process together with these uh, intervention projects and maybe uh, Kosha uh, can also uh, touch on uh, some of these challenges that uh, uh, you may face uh, in facilitating this IBM platform process and whatever uh, external funding programs, African Development Bank, JICA, and so on, to be interfaced through this process. Perhaps uh, you, because of your presentation, uh, very dramatic uh, situation that you are <laughs> portraying. Um, but uh, go ahead, and uh, any other observation you make in terms of uh, suggesting, uh, proposing what to, how to follow up this uh, particular uh, seminar in uh, Zimbabwe. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Um, in the Zimbabwean situation, uh, one of our biggest challenge is uh, uh, funding of uh, these processes. And I want to specifically talk about the Chitumbu's uh, situation, the Zingeza uh, sewage treatment plant that was that we were kindly provided by uh, Japan. Uh, the sewage treatment plant was commissioned in around year 2000, and by year 2003, it had stopped functioning. There was something that was lacking in that situation. The sewage treatment plant was there, technological input, and yet, it stopped working. So there are perhaps many things that are needed to solve the uh, sewage problem. Not just the sewage treatment plant is clearly demonstrated with that example. And JICA is now in the process, um, maybe I'm not qualified to talk about that, of trying to look into these other problems. And this is uh, an opportunity for partnership between uh, the uh, technological uh, intervention and these other intervention if uh, JICA would twin with the IOBM, IOBM process uh, in some way because that would then provide some supportive mechanism for this technological intervention because repairing that switch to the plant with the existing uh, problems in place will not guarantee the functioning of that switch to plant because the technology is there but there is not enough personnel to mend that switch to plant. There are not enough resources 
to uh, manage the sewage treatment plant. Uh, and also there are design problems such as sand which comes in the system which ruins the pumping mechanisms uh, and so on. So indeed, there is, we have present in a situation there where the OBM platform is a good addition to this uh, intervention. Uh, another thing that I wanted to uh, talk about is the uh, university and the role of universities in terms of uh, knowledge uh, generation, knowledge sharing, and also participation in uh, solving real issues. Uh, the Vice Chancellor or the head of the University of Zimbabwe uh, realizes and wants to encourage the university to become proactive in uh, solving real issues in Zimbabwe. And therefore, he sees this AOBM platform as something which the university can contribute uh, in terms of uh, trying to solve a challenge of lecture. And this is not the only time that the University of Zimbabwe was involved in solving the challenge of Lake Chilero. Uh, after its construction in 1952, in the 1970s, the lake became eutrophic because of sewage problems. But it was a partnership between the University of Zimbabwe and the, the then Harare municipality. The University of Zimbabwe carried out research and found that it was phosphate and nitrogen or the discharge quality of the water from the sewage treatment plant that was causing problems or eutrophic conditions in Lake Chilero. So there was an MOU between the University of Zimbabwe and the Harare municipality. And this led to some kind of partnership that uh, led to a resolution of the problem by installation of the uh, BNR system. By uh, I can't remember the meaning of the acronym, but it's something to do with the biological nutrient removal system, uh, which reduced, re improved the effluent quality. And there was also change in policy in terms of uh, the discharge quality regulation. So that kind of partnership is one that is required in the current situation. And I think that's one of the things that this IOBM intellectual should try and achieve to forge a partnership where decisions on what solutions will be best in scientific knowledge. Thank you very much. Uh, the, uh, we would like to have some inputs from the floor, uh, both in terms of the, the observations you made on the presentation uh, also of the prospects of this sort of approach uh, contributing to the broader uh, 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 ecosystem environmental governance uh, issues of the future. And we have uh, Mr. Uh, Sato Yarai, uh, who was also an IBM uh, uh, team member. We also have uh, Professor Matsui, uh, who was also the, the uh, advisory member of this uh, IBM platform uh, project. Uh, and maybe we have uh, some other uh, people uh, who, who would definitely uh, would like to contribute to this uh, process. So uh, maybe uh, Mr. Sato can make some observations from your uh, uh, joining uh, the team to undertake some of these uh, uh, projects. Maybe in Japanese, uh, uh, fine, in English is fine. Katena Kanso de Roshi deska? Eh, Watashi wa Koshoko Kankyo da Kaja Rakte, Chikyu Jou no. あらゆる問題が年々いい方向に行っているとは思っていません。なぜなら私が物心ついた時から成長の限界と言われています。
それから第二次世界大戦が終わった時は25億人だったのが今は70億人を超えています人口を抑制しようという試みは少しはありますが効果を上げていませんそれでなおかつ成長を求めていますということは2050年に90億人の人がそれぞれ皆さん今先進国の生活レベルまで発展しようというこれは無理ですそしてなお日本は防衛予算を増やそうとしているアメリカも中国も軍事費を増やしていますそしてアフリカアジア中南米も防衛予算は減らそうとしていませんこのお金の半分でも地球の水環境に振り向ければこの ILBM という処方箋にのっとっていい方向に行くと私は思っていますこんなところでありがとうございましたじゃあその、えー、延長線上で、ま、松井先生あの少しグローバルなですねあの<笑>課題とこのアイルベンとの関連も含めてちょっとおいでいただいてありがとうございます。Thank you very much, Professor Nakano.I've been involved in the IREC activities for something 30 years <laughs> and、uh, along my experiences I'm already、uh, always、uh, having very pessimistic observation and、uh, I see Lake Victoria, Nakuru, and Chibero, and three of them are facing very、uh, severe, very severe condition. I cannot find any reverse situation that is turning out into the good, good direction.、Uh, yes, we know many problems, many problems, as the Mr. Sato pointed out, the we face population growth. And、uh, some, somewhere, some way, we need to really control the population growth in slow speed, not fast speed. This is very important. And, but but uh, 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 apart from those I mean, population growth problems, I see more practical problem and solution. The, the case of Lake Victoria. We knew that the uh, 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 eutrophication caused by phosphorus, which, which came from the air, not from water. That was a very controversy uh, uh, scientific discussion. But now I see uh, the, around Lake Victoria, population growth is so fast. I saw you know, in your presentation. So now we have to really look at the uh, pollutant uh, uh, point sources, point sources control. That is more important than the、uh, non point control that, that includes the air pollution. And、uh, when I see the po point, point control, again, the farmers, you see the growing population area, the farming area. And how to、uh, manage good farming and,、uh, and the increase of farmers' population. So I see, I see the, the point that is an ecological sanitation. Ecological sanitation. Because the people need good sanitation. But、uh, those sanitation is not connected with agricultural activities. Right. Ecological sanitation means the, the feces and the urine are cleverly utilized for agriculture, which means nutrient, nitrogen phosphorus recycle. Nitrogen phosphorus recycle. And、uh, to feed the people, we need more food production. Food production needs more nitrogen phosphorus and potassium. But、uh, when, we when we get nitrogen potassium and Phosphorus, you have to buy from the industry. We are industries. And the we are industries, 
they use, they use methane gas, natural gas, to produce ammonia, which directly connects to the global warming problem. So I think uh, uh, we now, we try to reduce uh, global warming problem by controlling carbon discharge. That is, uh, that is uh, Kyoto Protocol. <laughs> However, we failed in you know, the following protocol. But in, in addition to carbon control on the, on, the, on the Earth, we must seek for the nitrogen control, phosphorus control. We are just discharging, producing nitrogen, discharging into the water, and then they're highly polluted by eutrophication, so on and so on. The same thing to the Lake Chibera. You, you must really uh, 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 repair the uh, sewage treatment plant, of course, definitely. But when you treat sewage, you accumulate sewage sludge. How do you dispose sewage sludge? Only dispose. No, 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 no. We have to, we have to convert sewage sludge into fertilizer. Because the human sewage contains lots of nitrogen, and phosphorus, potassium. And in your case, in the Lake Chibel, really, phosphorus, phosphorus you know, recycling. Water, wastewater, water, wastewater. So that in, in your water system, phosphorus is building up. Building up. <laughs> right? Oh, sorry, so don't talk. Okay. Now, anyway, uh, I'm really proposing uh, for, for, the, for, for, for us, for our uh, children, grandchildren, we must control nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in addition to, in addition to carbon control. So I. Uh, I think this ILBM uh, also uh, take into account many of the, uh, the, the Matsui's uh, uh, concerns, uh, particularly in uh, Lake Victoria, or similar projects across ecological sanitation. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I thought this もし、え、ご意見ない、え、ご提案ないいただいたら最後はあの、人生でですね、ユネットからのメッセージをいただきたいと思いますが、いかがでしょうか。よし。はい、どうぞ。お名前とそのこと。あの、アイルビエンでではレイクビクトリアとかでは、まあ、ウガンダ、ケニア、タンザニア、ま、3カ国あって、で、さらにこのアイルビエンの6つの柱があって、ま、合意形成にすごい時間がかかって、ただ、
other uh, Lake Victorian uh, people to bring up, uh, to come and learn from us what we have done. And then they may be doing their own micro uh, parts in Uganda and Tanzania. And that is what we are thinking, because this, uh, we cannot begin the whole of Lake Victoria, 65,000 kilometers, which is uh, what we have taken. Are you also collaborating with the Lake Victoria Basin Commission? Yes, we are collaborating with Lake Victoria uh, uh, Basin uh, Management, which is in East Africa, and also Leven, which is also uh, the only program. We have also NGOs that are we are working with for the Victoria. My organization was in Tanzania, Uganda. Therefore, they are learning from what we are doing. はい、ではちょうど時間がですね、あの迫ってまいりましたので、最後にあのユネップのですね、えー、ジンさんから、えー、ユネップとして、えー、日本あるいはあ国際的な環境委員会アイラックと協力して、えー、アフリカあるいはアフリカを含めたですね世界の国々に、まあ、どういう、えーまあ、協力をしたり支援をしたり、えー、しようとしているかということについてちょっとご紹介いただければと思いますよろしくお願いしますこの
uh, is uh, a gift from nature. Uh, without water, there is no life. And uh, as we all know that over the last two decades, uh, remarkable progress has been made to achieve the water-related and minimum development goals. But, but we have an uh, unfinished agenda. And uh, by 2015, and, uh, we may not be able to fully achieve all the goals and the targets on water uh, related. And the challenge for Africa and Asia are the same. And uh, if you know the figures, for example, um, for uh, access to safe drinking water and improved sanitation, Africa has the highest percentage. But in Asia, although our percentage is not that high, but the absolute number is the largest because of our large population base. And to achieve or to deliver the goals and integrated lake basin management is the approach which has been proven by fact uh, evidence and effective one. And uh, in UNAP's water policy and strategy, and uh, also my observation here, um, to deliver the integrated lake basin management, a sound water governance is crucial. This governance should be a coherent one. It should help develop and implement public public policies on water in an open and transparent manner. And the governance should facilitate the uh, integrated uh, lake management uh, as a platform that for all the, all the stakeholders to participate and contribute. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think this concludes this panel discussion, but uh, uh, finally, we'd like to have uh, our concluding uh, remarks from uh, the, the Secretary General of uh, ILEC for thanking.